Hey y'all, hey. So listen, I just did this for the first time. Um, you know, you can do the napkins, you know, you can do the styrofoam, um, the styrofoam cups. So I picked these up when I was in Dollar Tree because I did some clear plates and of course, $1.25. You know, when you play with sublimation so much, you'd be like, ah, let me just try it. If it works, it works. Well, this works and um, I use my easy press, but I'm going to try my plate press on another video. But y'all literally, I literally just put my image down. I'm gonna take this because it bent some. I literally put my image on this plate. Y'all, I'm scared to take it. It's okay. But I put my image on this plate and I basically just sublimated it on, on it and it went to the plate. That's what I was just showing you there. Now, can you eat off of this? I don't think so because I think because of the gases, once they release, you can't eat off of it. But if you want to just be extra for decoration purposes, you know, um, I literally just sublimated with my easy person. And that's how I got that logo on there. I think I got two more items I'm going to try from Dollar Tree to sub on just to see. But um, I just hold it on there and keep pressing and pressing. Um, I do have it on the highest level on this easy press that it can be. It is on the highest thing. Now, my other images, as you can tell, they were smaller. But it came out really good. That's the new logo I'm going to be using for Zyre Creations. I made it probably about four or five months ago on um, Canva. I just haven't put it on that. Then I wanted something simple like a logo that I can put vinyl or sublimation with and I can change that background some. So I did that one. I'm gonna do another video this week and it's going to be a Bible from Dollar Tree. And um, the pillows that you put on your couch, the throw pillows, they have the covers at Dollar Tree. I don't know if you've seen those before, but I'm going to be doing one of those. And then they have some table runners from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be trying it. Neither one of those have I tried. It's more so walking through Dollar Tree and they say polyester. And I said, hey, we're going to get it just because y'all, I don't know about an even heat. So I just keep moving around with this easy press. I've never tried to use the plate press that came with my heat press, but I think for this job, that would be pretty cool because you can put that circle directly on top. If you have a YouTube video, you watched a video where someone used that plate press, please let me know because I want to look and see. I want to try it because it's really cute. Um, I did do the clear plates where you put the image in and do the hot glue, you know, things like that for them. I'm going to lift this up to see how it's looking. Y'all, I'm so scared of ghosting on here. But I want you to know it's possible. I had to do a video to show you. I didn't use tape last time. I used it this time. And it's hectic to get off, I see. Especially if you ain't got no nails like me. But I don't want to rip it. So I just want to see if it took. That's what I'm trying to see, y'all. Without ripping my paper up. And it did, it looked like I pressed it too long. The last time I barely, you know, pressed it. But this time it went through, but some of it did some sticking. See the paper stuck to some of it. I really hate that. See how I can get that little spot off. 
but you can sublimate on a paper plate. Let me see if I have any, I have some alcohol wipes. Give me a second. Good old alcohol wipes. If you order from Uline, they'd be like one cent. So I always grab them. I don't need them, but when I'm packaging my customer items, um, I normally wash my hands, but I'd rather use these sanitized wipes, but you know, before touching them. And if it's too many of them, I'm gonna wear gloves. But other than that, I use these sanitizer wipes. So it's some ghosting and some not, but as you can tell, it's very much so possible to sublimate on a paper plate. These plates are in comparison to the um, Dixie plates, I'm guessing that's what you want to say. But you can sublimate on paper plates. Can you eat out of them? I'm not for sure, but you can sub on them. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. And as always with Zy Creations, happy crafting.